The Pivot. Let's check it out. Trailblazer Firearms is based out of Fletcher, North Carolina, about an hour north of me. And they produce the Life Card. It's a small little 22 single shot pistol. It's about the size of a credit card, and then it folds out. It's a really cool, very innovative design. Uh, very concealable. But now they're introducing the Pivot. Uh, this is a 9mm carbine or rifle, and it has a very unique option of being able to push this button, bring around the barrel, and it makes it a super compact rifle. Uh, this is one of the coolest things that I've seen. I mean, the design, the quality, it's really excellent. So we're gonna check this out. I've known about this for a while. I've been very excited to get one. And guys, um, you know, it's just so unique. And you know, if you're looking at the uh, pistols, like an AR pistol, or you're looking for a bullpup, this is a completely different design that makes this super compact. And I want to thank Nate over at Gun Zone Deals for sending the Trailblazer Firearms Pivot for this review. We really appreciate the guys over at Gun Zone Deals. They bring a lot of guns to us to be able to show you guys. And this one is super cool. Trailblazer Firearms Pivot, ultra compact folding rifle. Guys, I remember when I first saw this, I thought that is just such a cool idea. Now ideas always don't translate into practical. They don't always translate into reliable or accurate. Uh, and it's nice to see some really innovative type firearms, uh, but you know, a lot of times there's testing. And that's one thing that Trailblazer Firearms has done with this rifle. Uh, I've known about this for a couple of years, even saw it this past year at NRA, and it was pretty much in the finished condition. Uh, so I was really excited to get this. These are now available. They're coming out. And guys, it is a very small firearm. This is collapsed 26 inches when it's fully deployed. Uh, once you pull out the stock, it's 29.7 inches. And then before we pivot it, let's go ahead and check to make sure the gun's unloaded. Of course, we have Glock mags. That is really key. What's cool is they actually send a Glock mag. Most of the companies that are using Glock mags are sending P mags. This is a 15 round mag that will fit your Glock 19 and that will make it flush uh, with your grip. And chamber is empty. Now here you have your charging handle and it is in the up position. Uh, just bring it down and it closes it. This is a non-reciprocating charging handle. So if your hands up here you don't have to worry about getting bit. Now to fold the rifle, you need to make sure the mag is out, bring back your charging handle and lock it into position. It will not fold unless you have those done. And then right here at the front, there is a small little button. Uh, it's very knurled, it's metal, it's a nice button. As we press it, and then we bring around the whole action, and it just locks into place. It's a very solid click when it comes together. Uh, one of the things about this too is it's all aluminum. So while it does have some weight to it, it just feels like quality. It's, it doesn't feel that polymer lightweight, kind of fragile feel to it. And in this configuration, it's 20.9 inches in length. I mean, it is a very compact size. Now, Trailblazer Firearms is known for their life card. And it's a 22 long rifle pistol. It's a single shot. Uh, push forward and pull out the handle. You have your trigger uh, right here. You're able to load one round in and then cock it here and then you pull the trigger. Uh, really innovative 
but definitely somewhat of a novelty. Uh, they do make one now that has a threaded barrel, which is pretty cool. So Trailblazer Firearms was already starting to put out some things that you're just not seeing. Your grip and your trigger guard are polymer. There's a section right here with pins, uh, and you do have that flatter back strap, more like your 1911. Flat face trigger does have one of the diamond-like coatings on it or PVD finishes. Ambidextrous safety, uh, you hit it down for safe, and it kind of comes out so you know it's on safe, and then you bring it up for fire. Now we have a threaded barrel, half by 28 threads. Of course, you have your thread protector. Uh, there is a washer included. Now this is a tapered uh, thread pitch, and so this washer comes right off, but it's actually an adapter so you can put your square face comps or different kind of suppressors on there. M-lock rails at three and nine o'clock. The bottom just has a flat surface. Uh, one of the reasons is because when you bring this around, it just gives you something to grip hold of. You can see when this has collapsed with this panel, uh, if you had M-lock, you wouldn't be able to close this if you had anything attached. So it works here. And then again, right here at the front, you have M-lock at the lower part of the receiver. Upper receiver is fully aluminum. Has some really nice cuts here. Of course we have a line of bolts. Uh, here we have our ejection port which we've already shown. And the anodized finish on the receiver, very smooth uh, and it's kind of a gray matte finish. Picatinny rail section at the front for sights. Picatinny rail section also at the top along the upper receiver. Of course we were using one of the Trigicon MROs on there. Uh, with a quick detach mount but you know you can put almost any kind of red dot on here or sights if you want to go with iron sights charging handle does have some really nice checkering all the way through it gives you a lot of texture polymer stock it is adjustable lever right here just to bring that out and there are different points to be able to set this wherever you like to uh, it does have a mag holder here at the back now, because you do have to remove the mag to pivot the upper receiver, uh, it, this mag carrier really comes in handy, and so it just fits back here. And, of course, this is the Glock 19 size. It will take larger mags. I think the 27-round mag will actually fit right here uh, with this collapsed. But with it fully deployed, I mean, you know, your larger magazines can fit in there. So it makes it really versatile. You have your regular 17 round mags. I mean, whatever mag from Glock 19, 15 rounders above will fit in this. Barrel steel, 16 inches. One of the things though about this with a trigger, and typically with your bullpup type designs, which this is really honestly more of a hybrid design, is that you have your trigger here, but you have your trigger mechanism or your fire control group way toward the rear. Uh, this is a lot shorter. And you'll notice the triggers here, right here, you can see the hammer. So the linkages are not quite as long as a lot of your bullpup type designs. As far as the trigger action, we have a flat face trigger. Uh, here we have a little bit of take up, comes to a wall. And then it has a tactile break. It's not very crisp. I didn't expect it to be. And then we'll try the reset right there. A lot of times, you know, with your bullpup type designs, it's just the way it is because it extends out. Take the trigger pull weight with our Lyman trigger gauge for Brownells. Five pounds, six ounces. Five pounds, four ounces. Weight on the pivot. Five pounds, 3.8 ounces. Big thanks to Fiocchi for sponsoring the ammunition. All made in the USA. Fiocchi is one of the largest suppliers of ammunition in the country. And also, we really thank Lula Loaders because, man, with loading all these magazines, it really saves our thumbs. And it's cold out here. <laughs> My thumbs are numb. <laughs> love it guys honestly this is a fairly ingenious design uh, it allows that rifle to swing out it gives you that full 16 inches of a barrel length but it keeps it really small really short package of course you know with the stock you can bring it out um, then you have your HK slap and two you know not being able to close it unless this is in the up position and no magazine magazine right there in the butt stock put it in the grip Drop it, and we're ready to fire. Mm. 
very little recoil, just shoots really nice. So when you have the safety down, it comes down a little bit into the trigger guard, so you just lift it up. The quality and the weight, I, I like the heft of it. I don't like it super lightweight. I like it that it does have a little bit of weight, uh, all aluminum. The uh, stock is minimal, but it's actually comfortable. There's a little bit of a rubberized butt pad on here. And again, you can adjust this to whatever you want to. Um, of course, allowing for whatever optics. Uh, we have had no malfunctions whatsoever. And sometimes with new guns, I mean, you can have them. But uh, only thing I did notice is when I'm dropping the uh, HK slap sometimes, sometimes it would hold up. So I'd have to just pull it back and let it go. But uh, that only happened a couple of times right at first. Using Glock mags, it's soft and easy to shoot. The only thing that this is missing is a last round bolt hold open. <laughs> but we've got it right here. That's pretty cool. And then when you're finished, of course, we gotta take out our magazine. We can stow it away in the butt stock. Uh, make sure you take that barrel and you push it away from you. Not that that's really a safety feature because you really got this open, but it's just good to keep that barrel from, you know, going across your body. Really small package, really easy to use. Sometimes you get certain guns and there's different controls and it makes it really weird. This is very intuitive. Guys, this girl, she swings both ways. <laughs> this assembly is really simple. Uh, first thing you want to do is go ahead and turn the action into the halfway position. So you want to have it in just the unlock position. Okay, next, take your charging handle and go ahead slowly and bring it into the down position. At the back of your receiver plate, there is a small hole. 7 64ths is the inch, so a hex key or even just a punch. Just go ahead and depress that. As you depress that punch, take your thumb, hold on right here to the end of the bolt. At the top of the back cover plate, take a small mallet. Just want to tap it, it'll come right off. Next, we're just going to pull the bolt assembly right out. Your bolt, firing pin, all right here in this monoblock piece. Uh, and this is your bolt. You'll notice here at the recoil spring, this rod is your ejector. And so as we push it, you'll notice that it'll come through just like that and it'll eject those shells. There is some buffers here on the back and of course the single spring. But man, this is one solid piece of steel. Now this is your ejector rod. Uh, you wanna be careful, it does come out. Uh, but it is captured here at the back by this little plate and then it goes into this hole in the back of the receiver. You just want to make sure that that's in place and then you have your firing pin right here. And here you have the interior with the hammer and then we have the trigger right up front. Here's your locking mechanism right at the front to release and unfold or fold the firearm. Now they have a very concise owner's manual. I would highly recommend reading it, mainly because you can look and see how to disassemble it. It gives you all the lube points. It just tells you exactly how to lubricate. So a uh, very comprehensive, small little uh, manual and uh, excellent addition. For reassembly, your recoil spring's at the top. It'll only go in one way. Put it at the back of your receiver. Again, make sure that your ejector is in place. You'll notice your end cap has a little hook and it has a section that fits into the rear of the receiver. It only goes in one way. So take your recoil spring, hold it down, and then this just lines up. And you don't have to tap it on. It goes right in there. And then you can release your spring and you're ready to go. Pull back on your charging handle, lock it into place because it won't close otherwise. And then just bring it around, snap it, and it, you're good to go. It's a very simple way to break down, to be honest with you.
The MSRP on the Pivot is $1,795. Uh, on Guns on Deals, uh, it's going for $1,616. So market price is definitely going to be less. Pros and cons. Uh, first off, it is an ultralight foldable rifle. Uh, fits in your backpack really well. Uh, fits in a, is a car gun. Really fast to deploy. Uh, you know, it, but you can leave it in this configuration if you want to get it re out really quickly. But honestly, it only takes the push of a button. You swing it out and you're ready to go. It takes Glock mags. That's a big plus. Nice Picatinny rail. Very ample here at the front and the back. Great for lights and lasers. The safety features on here to me are a plus. You can't fold it with the uh, charging handle in the down position or with a magazine in it. Uh, the little small collapsible buttstock, it's minimal, but yet it's very comfortable and it is adjustable with a mag holder. Uh, flat face trigger, which makes it nice, uh, but you know, it is somewhat mushy. It does have that control where the hammer's way back here, which typically makes it just a little bit different. But the way things are when you get into any kind of bullpup, separating the trigger from the hammer. External safety, this ambidextrous, that's nice as well. Uh, very nice construction on the receivers. I mean, the, the machining is done impeccably. And it does give it a little bit of weight, but I like that because it's easier to handle. M-lock accessories at the front, threaded barrel. A lot of pros, a lot of pros. Uh, when it comes to cons, obviously the price uh, being... You know, seventeen hundred, but yet sixteen hundred market price. I mean, you know, for a lot of people that is expensive. But honestly, this is in line for what it is. Most of your bullpup rifles are that much and above. And honestly, this is more of a pioneer into the field of really compact foldable rifles. I love the design of what they've done. Yes, it takes just a minute to deploy it, but yet you can leave it fully extended if it's something that you need. So to be honest, I think this is just an excellent firearm. Of course, time will tell. We'll see how this goes overall. I mean, once we get this in the hands of a lot of people, a lot of people are shooting it, we're going to find out some things. But so far, inside looks solid. I mean, it's very well constructed. It's really beefy. That bolt is something else. And yet, it shoots really nice. Guys, super compact size. Great for a car gun. Super compact for a backpack. Uh, or just to carry. I mean, a 9mm Glock mags, very easy to bring this out and to deploy it. Uh, the quality is just exceptional. I think that Trailblazer Firearms hit a home run with this one. Uh, again, it's almost like a novelty because it's so different, and yet it's so useful. Also excited to see what else Trailblazer Firearms comes out with. And again, we really do appreciate Nate over at Gun Zone Deals and the guys at Trailblazer Firearms for sending the pivot for this review. Man, this has been a lot of fun, and it's a very cool design. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. It's very useful. <laughs> and this is really freaking cool. I can't get my freaking brain together. Take Glock mags, which we'll look at, which I don't have a Glock mag. I gotta get a Glock mag. Why don't I have a Glock mag? Where is my Glock mag? Glock mag! It is not, okay. No. No! Really unique turnaround where it just pops around pops around, I'm all like, me. Wow, man, wow. Very useful, great for whatever you're doing. Whatever you're doing, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs>